Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Leading Experts. I'm your host, Grayson Foster. Coming up on the show today, I'll be speaking with general and cosmetic dentist, Dr. Elon Chang. Dr. Chang is a graduate of Tufts University School of Medicine. She also did a general practice residency program from Loma Linda University, and she's been practicing for over 27 years. These days we all know certainly the importance of having a beautiful and healthy smile. And Dr. Chang will be discussing not only the ease and affordability of getting a smile makeover, but also how you can achieve good dental hygiene and most importantly, maintain it. She will also discuss a recent study that flossing your teeth regularly may help prevent heart disease. Some of today's topics will include discussions on dentistry for diabetics, veneers and aesthetic dentistry, dental implants, and certainly sedation dentistry. Stay with us, everybody. Leading Expert starts right now. Welcome to this edition of Leading Experts. Leading Experts is informative and exciting. Leading Experts interviews authors, speakers, and entrepreneurs in all areas of business, so you become a much more informed consumer. Welcome back everybody to Leading Experts. I'm your host, Grayson Foster. If you're just joining me, my guest today is Dr. Elon Chang. Dr. Chang is a member of the Academy of General Dentistry, the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry, and the Doctors of Conscious Sedation Certification from Dentistry for Diabetics, which she also holds. Dr. Chang, welcome to Leading Experts. Thank you, my pleasure. Wonderful. Dr. Chang, I think what's really critical for the viewers to know certainly is what is your office philosophy? Our philosophy is to keep your dental health and your gums healthy for life. Mm -hmm. And we treat our patients just like guests and families. Yeah. So if you were going to come into our office, we'll just treat you like one of our family members. Right. Because that's really key. The goal right. is to right. keep your teeth for life. Definitely. Yeah. I know a lot of people still fear even going to the dentist. It's kind of hard to believe that in this day Definitely. and age. Mm -hmm. So I know something you do is sedation dentistry. Right. Sedation dentistry is what we do for people that really fear about coming into the dental office. Mm -hmm. What usually happens is we'll give them a, a series of medications they can take either the night before and also during the time you know before right before their appointments. So that's making their appointments a lot easier. They can sit in the dental chair very comfortably and they can have a longer procedure done, you know, they, they will be very easy for them to cope with that. Have you had the experience where someone comes in and has to have a lot of work done, obviously, mm -hmm. and they go through this sedation dentistry, right. and then right. afterwards they say to you, well, gee, that wasn't oh, so yeah, bad. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, they just, they don't remember anything. The, the experience are very, very pleasant. They're really happy with that. And walk out with a beautiful mm -hmm. smile. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know you have special training in dentistry for diabetics. Right. And uh, not a lot of dentists do. Right. This is a program designed by Dr. Charles uh, Martin in Virginia. What we do is we go through a series of trainings, and we have special knowledge in how dentistry related to diabetic conditions. So we take both, you know, into consideration. We design a program for them so they can um, get the best out of the world basically. Yeah, because as mm -hmm. a diabetic patient you do have to be extra careful, right? Right, right. So walk me through um, diabetics being a diabetic mm -hmm. is really an epidemic so right, in the United States right. and across the world. Yes, it is. Uh, right now, there are about 20 million people that are diabetic right now in the United States. Okay. And uh, also, they're estimating between 50 to 60 million people pre-diabetic. Some of them they don't even know they have this condition. Right. So um, a lot of times, uh, we ca I call it, call it closed-loop situation. What happens is when you're diabetic, you're very prone to have gum disease. You're twice as much to prone, you know, to have gum disease. And once you have a gum disease and your body has an inflammatory reaction to your body, so it's very hard for you to control your diabetic condition, so it comes in like a loop, so it's very hard for control, you know, to control that con you know, condition. Right, kind of mm -hmm. like a vicious circle. Right, right, it is. And also when you um, have the gum disease, um, you increase your risk of getting, you know, heart, heart attacks by four times and strokes and heart attacks by four times, right. other than being hard to control your sugar and also you increase your blood level of the cholesterol blood level. So it's just, you know, there's a lot of things associated with that, with the gum and disease. And you say that the program consists of three parts, right. certainly eliminating infection. Mm -hmm. Right. What else? Um, the other parts are we provide our patients with different type of modalities. Okay. For instance, we have a special um, mouth rinse, uh, toothpaste, and also we have a special um, a brush that 
designed just basically for your gums. Okay. And the third part would be the, uh, we control the inflammatory part of the gum disease um, by providing you with a special, uh, we call um, nutraceuticals, okay? This is a okay. pharmaceutical grade of medication, vitamins designed by the uh, pharma then, um, company. And what they do is they design this just strictly geared towards people with gum disease. So we have you, we have used that, you know, for for at least over like four or five years, and they're very very successful. Now, why do people who have dia diabetes mm -hmm. why are they more prone to gum disease and that okay. type of thing? Okay. What happens is when you have inflammatory uh, response in your body, mm -hmm. increases uh, the substance called the C-reactive protein. Okay. When that happens, it travels through your bloodstream and then goes into your heart, goes to the extremities of your into the cardiovascular system. That's why it affects your heart and affects your you know your whole body basically. And certainly there's a lot of children in this country right. that are diabetic, right. so right. it's critical that they right. really look exactly. after the teeth that they have. Exactly, exactly. So they can keep them for life. Right. So who relies on dentistry for diabetics? People especially with type 2 di diabetes okay. and also people that are pre-diabetic, almost just anybody who's, who's concerned about their overall dental health, their physical health, they should be aware of things like that, they're, they're available. What are some of the things that most diabetics maybe don't know that you can share okay. with us? Um, I think a lot of people that are diabetic, they're aware of their, their kidneys are involved, their mm -hmm. eyes involved, and also, you know, they may have extremities that have little heart circulation that go, don't go to their, you know, extremities. Right. But they don't realize that um, they affect their gums also. So seeing a dentist just is very important also. They should get that part under control so indirectly will help them to control their blood sugar. Now you say that there's also an antibiotic, Arrestin? Right. What it is, it's Arrestin. Um, Arrestin is a special um, antibiotic that we can deposit around the gums, below the gums actually. Okay. What it does, basically, it will stay in your, around your gums for about 28 days and it releases the antibiotics constantly, so it really helps uh, controlling the infection of the gums. Are any of these procedures covered by insurance or? Um, is it mostly an out-of-pocket? Just kind of. Depends. A lot of them are out-of-pockets, and the special cleaning, for instance, the gum cleaning, the cleaning itself, and most of the time is covered by the insurance. But a lot of other material, they're not covered by insurance at all. So, uh, how how um, how many patients do you see currently that have diabetes that you're working with? I would say about a third of a patient I see they have diabetes, diabetic condition. Wow, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. What can they expect from you at at their first appointment? Uh, what we usually do is we'll have them come in. We'll kind of ask them exactly in, in terms of their health at this point right now, okay? Right. And then what we'll do, we'll gather a series of information. Um, we may have to take some x-rays and things like that, and we'll kind of gather everything all together. Mm -hmm. And then we'll kind of design a plan for them, you know, like a custom plan for them, whatever they need. We'll inform them at that point what is what options is available, what is needed for them to be able to maintain their, you know, optimal dental health, and we'll kind of go from there. Right. I just want to mention before we go mm -hmm. to break, mm -hmm. not only do you deal specifically with diabetic patients, but obviously mm -hmm. the general population Oh, definitely. As well. mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. sure. Okay, mm -hmm. I do have to take a break. Okay. Stay with us, everybody. Leading Experts returns right after this.